On today's episode of Warehouse Safety Tips, as you can hear, we have some construction going on around the studio. So we're going to be using AI voice to talk about PPE maintenance and life cycles. So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. Personal protective equipment is a crucial defense against workplace hazards in warehouses and other environments. But it's not just about having the right gear. It's about maintaining it properly and understanding its life cycle. Here's why this is so important, with three real-world examples. Hard hats. Consider the hard hat a staple in any warehouse. Over time, exposure to sunlight, temperature extremes, and chemicals can degrade the plastic, reducing its ability to absorb impacts. Regularly inspecting hard hats for cracks, dents, or fading color and replacing them every five years or immediately after a significant impact ensures they provide optimal protection. Safety glasses. Safety glasses protect against flying debris, dust, and chemical splashes. However, scratches or fogging can impair vision, leading to accidents. Implementing a routine cleaning schedule with appropriate cleaners and storing them in a protective case can extend their usability. Replacing glasses that are heavily scratched or have compromised frames is essential for clear visibility and eye protection. Protective gloves. In a warehouse, gloves are used to handle materials, protect against cuts, or work with chemicals. Gloves can wear out, lose their grip, or get punctured. Regular inspection for signs of wear and tear, such as thinning material or tears, and replacing them as needed ensures hands remain protected from potential hazards. By prioritizing PPE maintenance and being mindful of its life cycle, we're not just complying with safety regulations but actively contributing to a safer workplace. This practice doesn't just protect equipment, it can potentially save lives. Let's make PPE maintenance a regular part of our safety culture. Thank you for being part of another episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. Until we meet next time, have a great week and stay safe. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.